Hey, what's going on guys? So, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that my jeweler's loop broke. So this was my jeweler's loop for the last like decade. Um, I don't really remember where I got this thing. I'd probably eBay, I forget, but you know, I use this to look at knives. I look at the, you know, knife edges, see if anything's rolled or chipped or anything like that. Um, in recent years, I look at a lot of coins. I have a coin here, for example. Um, it's just really cool. Just a way to magnify things. You know, whether your eyes are good or not, sometimes you just have to get in real close to see that detail. And this was super handy, something used all the time. But <laughs> I was recently using it. And there's uh, on this particular one, there's a 30 time zoom and a 60, 60X. And that one literally fell apart. There's like a plastic retaining ring. And I guess the glue gave way or something. And I'm, I'm using it literally turned like this, right? I was looking at something turned and, and all the guts just fell out completely. There's multiple lenses in there and, you know, different, you know, pieces that were above it and below it. It was a complete mess. I didn't even bother trying to fix it. Um, these are fairly cheap. Plus mine over the years, the, uh, I never changed the battery or anything. It got super, super dull. This is kind of cool though. So you have two different LEDs. One is directly below um, the 60X, and then the other one is directly below the 30X, all right? So you can really get light on the subject that you're, you know, looking to magnify. I just thought it was pretty cool. Sometimes you need light, sometimes you don't. And the whole thing pivots around and it's in this kind of like aluminum shell. So I was looking to replace this and I went on to eBay and I found the same one, which is all over the place. These are super, super common. These things are like five or six bucks. So if you ever watched my videos and thought, oh, that's cool, a jeweler's loop, you know, I can use that for all kinds of things. You look at minerals and rocks and, you know, coins and money, who knows, whatever. Uh, it's cheap. <laughs> you don't have to spend a bunch of money on it. But I found the combo here. There's a different style and both were like $10 with shipping, you know. So I'm like, why not? I, I have to try it. And it turns out this one is the exact same thing as this one. I don't know why it came in this ridiculous case. Um, this is a black version, but it's literally identical. It has a key, which is not necessary at all, but the key is what opens the battery department, or department, the battery compartment on this side. You can use, you know, tweezers. That's what I did for, for this one when I first got it, because the battery was in there, it was brand new, but it wasn't making contact. Anyway, long story short, this just unscrews. That's it. You don't really need the tool. I guess it makes it a little easier, but there's a couple watch cells in here. So yeah, this is the, the new version. Look at the difference here on, on this light with the batteries. So that's what I've been using and that's what it should have been or what it used to be many years ago. All right, so this one, like I said, is identical, only it is black. All right, so these things, like I said, five, six bucks, pretty cool, but <laughs> I like this thing even more. All right, so let me, uh, well, I don't care. I'm going to keep that case probably. So this one, it's kind of cheesy. It has this weird plasticky, like fake gator skin. It's not even really gator skin. It's just some kind of design. Totally unnecessary, but anyway, so you have two little, you know, jimped areas here to pull this out. Now, when you pull it out to here, it feels like it kind of stops. If you pull it out more, it actually turns on the light automatically. If you don't want to use the light, you just pull it out to the first stopping point, which is awesome. I really like that, that it's automatic. This has a 30X, a 60X, and even has a little tiny 90X, okay, which is ridiculously magnified. Totally unnecessary unless you really want to get in there. And so you could switch to lights. You could see there's three LEDs here. So if I pull this out, you can see the first one is all the way to the left here, all right? The middle one is actually a UV light. I get my fingernail in there. So this is UV light, which is super fascinating. If you want to see something under UV, and then the bottom one, all right, illuminates all the way to the left. So if you're using the 90X or the 60X, you'd probably use that light. All right, but I keep this on the, you know, defaulted to the top. And like I said, it automatically comes on if you pull it all the way out, or if you don't want a light, you know, unless you want to pull it out without the light, like during the day, you have plenty of sunlight, it works beautifully. So I'll give you a quick little uh, example here. So doing some coin hunting, um, I got another Bessie Coleman that has two die chips. Now, I think I did a video, you know, showing the, um, you know, talking about modern coins and stuff. And there's a lot more errors than there used to be. Um, I think it's super fascinating, the whole thing. So this one happens to have 
the same die chip with the nose. So if I give a zoom on my camera and then come in with this, hopefully you can see, I'm gonna try this without the, yep, there's my finger. Try this without the light. So you can see in front of Washington's nose, that glob of metal, it's not supposed to be there. It's a die chip. All right. So he's got some, some boogies on his nose, must have sneezed or something. It is allergy season. And then on the back here, with that plane, the middle of the plane, it's gonna be hard to tell unless you're really familiar with this design, but the middle of the plane, hold on, let me rest my one finger against my other finger, try to keep this steady for you. Um, right in the middle there is just, again, another glob of metal. If you look up the original design, you can see the difference here. It's not supposed to be like that. So that's another die chip. There we go. That's kind of a better better shot there. Let me try that again with uh, Washington's nose here. And it's funny, a lot of people did point out that they do not like the design. <laughs> Washington's got a thick neck. Yes, he does. The ball is thick. All right, so let's see if I get a better steady shot. Yeah, see that little globule at the tip of his nose? Not supposed to be there. Some kind of like messed up wart or something. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if I can give you a shot with this. Well, let me turn the light on. So let me give you a shot with the 30. Or I'm sorry, the 60X. It's kind of hard because the camera zoomed and move around here. The light's actually a little much. But there it is right there. There's the glob at the end of his nose. All right, let's see. <laughs> I doubt I could show you the 90 because it has to be the right distance. Uh, no, probably not. Not in this, you know, this format here anyway, but it's just bigger. That's all. So yeah, I think this was absolutely awesome. Um, if you always like the idea of a jeweler's loop, you don't have to be into coins for this. You know, if you're just a knife person, you can look at your blade edge with these. This is just awesome. This was cool. I love this. It worked totally fine for many, many years, but I dig this. I like the form factor. I like how that just pulls out. I like that the light comes on automatically or I don't have to use a light. I like that it's big and square, just something bigger to kind of hold on to. Whereas when I'm used to this, I kind of did this where I, I, I held it down here and kind of braced it with my two fingers, but I don't know, just one of those things. There's also many different styles as well. So there you go. Works, works very well. So I figured I'd mention this because again, I've gotten comments, you know, randomly over the years about the jeweler's loop. That's what's called like jewelry. You know, if you go into any coin shop, they're gonna have different types of magnifying glasses and loops. And it's L-O-U-P-E, not like Fruit Loops, L-O-O-P. Um, so jewelers loop, if you're interested. So anyway, that's all. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have a jeweler's loop and what you use it for. But for me, it was knife edges for a long time and now it's knife edges and coins. And occasionally I'll look at like, you know, if I have a body screw on a knife or something, I'm like, oh, is that stripped? I break out the loop and I'm like, oh yeah, it is definitely stripped. Where with the human eye, just it kind of looks like something's wrong. It just makes things easy. You know, all kinds of things you can just look at closely. It's just fascinating. Now, plus something like this, if you have uh, kids, like not real little kids, you don't want to put it in their mouth or anything, but you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe six to like 10 or something. You buy one of these, like a Christmas, like a stocking stuffer, they just look at everything. You know, it's just, it's just fun. Just fun to look at stuff bigger. You know what I mean? You know, looking at your, uh, your fingerprint, all kinds of things. Of course they said that, now I can't get this to focus. <laughs> Let's put the light on. See if that helps. Yeah, sure did. There we go. Magnifier, LED, double, multiple, double, multiple. Jewelry identifier, uh, excuse me. Jewelry identifying type, 30 by 22 millimeters and 60 by 12 millimeters. Fascinating. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. See you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.